it is indeed another binge of compilations, sung to the tune of the intro. Okay, task failed successfully, goodbye. Life is like a homestuck flash. Beautiful, unpredictable, fast, tragic. Cockat is there. And he's about to pop up on your screen right now. My process of making OCs. Are they lovers? Worse. I know we say this joke casually, but Neil Gaiman really is stronger than a U.S. Marine to leave his inbox open. Like, damn. I am not responsible for who I become when hyperfixating. I'd like to see your dignity hold up when flooded by 2,000% of your typical dopamine levels. <laughs> I, like, got this splatoon stuck in my ceiling and I'm not able to get it down. You're not going to believe what object dislodged itself from the ceiling and began its descent to the floor, creating a loud, meaty slap sound upon impact. Waking me up in the tender hours of the night. Andy, I hope you provided some sort of sound for big meaty slap. If you didn't, that's fine. I understand. Adam, I'll let you name the birds. Tit. Uh, okay. Booby. Stop naming them after breasts. Looks at Rooster. Don't. Behold, abandoned intersection near Ottawa on a 720 by 404 ratio. The Parliament of Traffic Lights will decide your fates. You know, the only reason we may dislike something is because it exists outside our comfort zone. And if we're able to experience something inside of it, we may enjoy it more. Sorry, there was a storm. Storms making me philosophical and shit. Now hold on. They're onto something. Have you ever slept so good that when you wake up, you temporarily forget how to walk? Y yeah Girlhood is a spectrum. Yeah. Ah, yes, Hatsune Miku to Bernie Wrightson's Victor Von Frankenstein. A fine spectrum indeed. All right, Chet. Where do you lie on this spectrum? Writing prompt. There is a forbidden type of magic out there. It isn't forbidden because it's inherently evil, or forces you to lose your humanity, or requires human sacrifices. It's just forbidden because it's annoying as heck to fight against. The power of friendship! And this gun. <sighs> Hello, August, you piece of shit. Why so open, the closer? Who the hell closed last night? The opener. Here's transparent salamander hand for you guys to blap against things. Blap! <laughs> This is the greatest gift we have ever received. Andy, proceed to blap things at will. Pargachow! I'm trans, what do I do now? You must journey through the western gates into the great unknown, past the Black Ridge, through the mires betwixt towering mountains, past the empty fields of gold that stretch on for miles, onto horizons anew. But Pakitao said trans rights. I think. I said trans quest. All the bitches with prank YouTuber humor hate me for my firm boundaries and refusal to laugh at jokes that aren't funny. Well, looks like you're gonna have to name yourself I am based post. <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe. Man, if I saw an elf, nobody would be able to stop me. F from what? Nobody would be able to stop me. Holy shit, is that an elf? Writing prompt. She's a battle-scarred, jaded super-soldier loaded with biomechanical upgrades and chemical augments. All she wants to do is wear cute clothes and paint. This is called being a trans girl. I think my favorite joke is a character saying something really suspicious, pausing, then going, uh, uh, or so I've heard. It's a good one. I had a dream that Joe Biden addressed the nation wearing a Miko robe like a Shinto princess. He was also visibly eight months pregante. He didn't talk about that until the press asked him about it, to which he replied, I bear the child of a great spirit. As if, like, that was something mildly inconvenient, like getting stuck in traffic. Mission, be normal about that thing. Status, failed. So do you want a brief explanation of what an acorn is? 
in a nutshell, it's an oak tree. I, I, I just, I just, I just need a minute. Friday prompt: A group of dragons get together to play offices and managers. Is this where the office came from? I put Dwight Stapler in Jello. Roll for sleight of hand. Me, a writer, staring at one sentence for ten minutes straight. I don't know what's wrong with you, but I don't like you. Everything will be okay. Shallow and dismissive comfort that establishes impossible goal an indefinite future away. In two weeks, you will have different problems. So true, bestie, the human experience. Yeah. Behold, a very powerful American toad creates ripples in water with his call. Those ripples are a telltale sign they are charging their beam attack. Um, excuse me. He's practicing his ham on. Pocket Witch, what time is it? <laughs> ah, tis the witching hour. It's all fun and gay until you get a crush on her. Update, she's my girlfriend now. It's all fun and gay again. Wow. Incredible that Tumblr has persisted for long enough that it's become one of the least irritating social media platforms without becoming any less irritating. Good job. Babe, calm down. Why don't you go listen to a beautiful video game track powerful enough on its own to move you to tears? Maybe then you'll feel better. <laughs> so true. Attention! We will now be rating your Blorbos, OCs, and other wretched things based on the six components. Slime, skeletons, sand, the secret component. Number seven, and soup. Use any scale you wish as long as they can be represented by saying X out of Y, with each item presented in any order except the one I just listed. Okay. There's a ton of shit you can get in life if you're willing to submit yourself to the mortifying horror of asking for it. <laughs> Professor, can I take this exam? A different time? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Am I the only one who takes a sip of Baja Blast and immediately thinks of the cinnamon twist from Taco Bell? Like, I'm almost positive there's some similarities in the flavor. Like, I, 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 it just can't be me, right? Right? Anyone? I think what you're witnessing is a uh, food memory anomaly. Whereas by drinking or eating something from your childhood, it flips memories that you've had before with that. Or, you know, you could just be tasting the sugar in both things, but sure, go off, fam. The most Coco Malone shit I've ever experienced in my life was the time I was in calculus and some girl in front of me was Googling assorted animals and scrolling through pictures of clip art pigs and horses and shit on her laptop, completely focused like it was her tax form. I have asked you time and time again, yet you won't listen. So I'm giving you one last chance. And this time you'll know what happens if you ignore me. If you don't stop it with your Cohen 3, I'm going to fold your clothes while you're still wearing them. Uh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Arrow Cohen 3. You son of a- I'm afraid that I have the world builder's disease. And it is terminal. There's only one cure for this. Andy, slide a make your own D&D campaign over at them. Hey, question for writers. How do you do that? Putting her in charge of organizing the studio from now on. Good luck, Milkshake. Oh my God, look at the amount of stress on her face. What if there was a big kobold and they had a small dragon friend and they were in love? They're the same size. And they're the same size. The concept of characters being turned into something monstrous and destined for evil, but still choosing to be good and to do good things for as long as possible is a good trope. The best trope, really. All right, I'm going to need some examples on that. The croc instinctively carries its offspring in its mouth. And yet a trace of the true self remains in the false self. They hate me for being a slut, to be honest, and maybe... Also, the killings, too, but that's unlikely. Girls realizing they're a lesbian. Call that a... Call that... <laughs> Eureka. I hate you. She thinks every package that arrives is for her. Hey! They are for her. 
Sometimes fan fiction is a love letter to canon. And sometimes fan fiction is pounding on canon's door and yelling it for it to get out here so you can kick its ass. You know, I always thought it was completely unrealistic that sitcom characters deal with a new conflict that should be easily solvable every week or so. And now as an adult, I absolutely understand now. Witness the cost of love. I, I, I don't see anything wrong. What cost is being shown? Uh, uh, zoom in? Yeah, I don't see anything. The toilets in this kebab restaurant making me feel like I've just joined CP underscore orange underscore restroom underscore X3. No way. Probably bad RPG ideas. You'd think dwarves would have a toxic masculinity problem, but they don't. They're resistant to toxins, you see. That's beautiful. And you write that down. That's a real me slapper. You think your crush is laying in bed thinking about you, but in reality, they're reading about swords on Wikipedia. Well, you were wasting your time considering me as a romantic option. I was studying the blade. Life hack. When you see a take one candy bowl in a restaurant, wait until no one's looking and shovel candy into your pockets. God may judge you, but his sins outnumber your own. God may judge you, but his sins outnumber your own. We really need to start collecting and sourcing these potent quotables. Me starting a new game. I'm gonna be evil this time. Me five minutes in the said game. Being mean's not nice. Me after failing to be evil. I'm gonna look up the YouTube videos of that playthrough instead. Me looking at the videos. I can't watch this. Literally me every time with the Fable series. I lived in Taiwan for a time, and I saw monkeys swing on trees. Who asked? God has granted you the gift of knowledge, and yet you shun him! Delete you forever! <laughs> you still exist as metadata. Ah, oh, fuck. I've been erased, but my shadow still remains. Ah. <laughs> That's a nice starry-eyed ambition you got there, buddy. Sure hope the narrative doesn't warp it into something ruthless and all-consuming. Yeah, sorry, your boyfriend got brainwashed by the patriarchy. Yeah, he thought it meant horses run everything. Sorry. Thinking about that matte blue Scooby-Doo fruit snack. Look at that. Enigmatic. A mystery. Probably use drugs. Anyone else feeling the effects lately due to all the things? Bro, all the time. <laughs> Please. Untitled document was my father. Call me untitled document parentheses one parentheses. Oh my god, stop. Deactivating all my bones tonight for a little blob action. Ah, oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Mr. Beast just cured me from being dead, but he hates how it turned out, so they didn't even upload the video about it. This is the plot of Frankenstein, I think. Please don't give Hollywood any ideas right now. Well, learning that self-depreciation isn't cool, and it just makes the people around you uncomfortable. Unironically, improve my mental health a lot. Like, if you just stop saying negative shit about yourself, you'll genuinely like yourself more, and other people won't be repulsed by your attitude, and you'll have more friends. It's true. I can state that for a fact. Kill them with kindness? <gasps> Wrong. Chain lightning. Kindness is the name of my arcane focus. Thank you. Scrappy-Doo has been found dead in Miami. Is he okay? He's all right, but he died. <sighs> Good. Probably bad RPG ideas. Turns out the great worm terrorizing the area is actually just three kobolds in a trench coat. Andy, do I even need to say it? I have vowed to never eat kiwi fruit again because a while ago I saw an ad for kiwi fruits on the TV that was just that annoying. That's a shame because kiwi fruit's like really good for you. And I'm not just saying that as a man who is 99% kiwi. I make mostly long posts, which is great because it gives me immunity from freaking PM Seymour, Oz Media, and all those other fuckers. It's beautiful. It's peaceful. Guess again, Andy. Elongate this post extremely long. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Tumblr is the Linux of social media. Why are you booing me? I'm right. 
Father Strange, are you going to try and get the Taylor Swift tickets for when she comes to Toronto? Hi, Anon. Thanks for the question. I would literally rather eat glass. Call me Osho the way I'm demanding a railing. Once again, I have been written out by HR. I'm heading to the store. Does anyone want anything? Soup. 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 Soup it is. I can't find it. There's only clothes. What do you mean there's only clothes? I can't find any soup. There's only clothes. We'll go to the next one. All right, got it. There's more clothes. What do you mean there's more clothes? I mean there's only clothes. Go to the next aisle. All right, just stop shouting. Where are you right now? I'm at the Hammerlock Boutique. Why are you buying soup at the Hammerlock Boutique? It's the first store I can find. Screw you. Screw you. Matrix themed drag persona called Neo Pronouns. Oh my God, that's brilliant. Good news, everyone. I found an app that helps you identify birds in your region by sound. It's this one. Thank you, I owe you my life. What is your darkest desire? I want to stare at someone from across the street that disappear when a bus passes. <laughs> I'm going to host a gender reveal party, but instead of revealing the gender of a child, I'll reveal whether this coin I flip landed heads or tails. Yes. Writing prompt. I can fix her, said the delusional computer scientist staring at the genocidal sentient supercomputer. I'm sorry, did you mean Gladys X Reader fanfiction? All fanfiction is funnier and sexier and vastly better writing when you read it at three in the morning in the dark, lying on your side, tucking your bed with the screen rotate turned off. That's just how it works. That's just facts. I accidentally observed an object in the sunlight and became an art major. Oh, gets you every time. Whoever decided to put eating sounds into ads needs to get fired. Out of a cannon. The talking mirror trope from fairy tales probably originated when a careless time traveler was seen using a smartphone or a tablet. Siri, Siri on my phone. How the fuck do I get home? Feeling the chronic pain today. Go to take painkillers, only to find out there's only one single Advil left. Tylenol it is then, but I'm mad about it. I'm so sorry. Being asexual is that everyone on planet Earth is just is just some guy. You know how you feel looking at some random guy you pass by in the grocery store? That's everyone on Earth to me. Every time one of my friends intensely thirsts after someone, they show me a picture, and I'm just like, yeah, that's that's human being, all right. Sure is. Good. Discord users. So I put on invisible or do not disturb. You know, like a liar. It's okay. I do it too. Hi, Jessica. We saw your profile on Indeed and thought you would be a great match for the inexperienced minor opportunity. Please submit a quick application if you have any interest. Hello, person with a graphic design degree. We think you'd be great for it. Hey, let me just see here. Dying in a coal mine. Please retire the we are made of stardust phrase. I am so tired of it. Stars are made of flesh. I changed my mind. Bring back the original phrase. No, no, it's too late. Stars are made of flesh now. So, you can smile. You should do it more often. You have a pretty face for it. How about... No. no.